locomotive engineer and crew members riding the caboose. Another safety device, the dragging equipment detector. This device is tied in with the signaling system. If it were broken by anything dragging over it, its braking will cause a stop signal to be displayed ahead of the train. Work on rail and roadbed is another chapter in railroad progress. Pulling spikes, driving spikes, taking up on bolts and nuts, adjusting rails, tamping ballast. All these are important steps in maintaining a safe roadbed for a smoother, more comfortable ride. But he takes the know-how of trained men and a lot of special machinery and equipment. Here is a whole train of specialized equipment for cleaning ballast. A good, safe roadbed depends on clean ballast to provide proper drainage. So these big diggers pick up the ballast for a thorough cleaning. The clean ballast is returned to the track by the machine. This kind of attention to roadbed maintenance is a year-round job for many similar crews, constantly at work on the thousands of miles of trackage in the system. And these thousands of miles get a regular checkup, too. This rail detector car x-rays the rails. An electric current can ferret out a possible defect in the rail long before it is visible to the human eye or troublesome to safe operation. Whenever this machine reports something suspicious, the rail is carefully marked so that the maintenance crew following along can replace it with a new one. Still another forward stride is this man-made valley. This huge cut and others like it were sliced out of the mountains near Steubenville, Ohio. It is one of many road improvements being carried out to keep ahead of the ever-expanding needs of industry and commerce. This new route eliminates four tunnels, like this one, moving today's bigger cars and bigger loads without time lost in transit. An important service and economy provided by a system that handles more than 2,000 freight trains every 24 hours. More and more freight trains are hauled by powerful multiple unit diesel locomotives. Their greater flexibility of operation has made an important contribution to railroad progress so that today no other means of transportation can equal over long hauls the economies and speed of freight. The call for increased facilities for more rolling stock is something the railroad anticipates. This reserve capacity is being increased. New freight cars are coming off the line in ever-growing numbers. Hopper cars, box cars, flat cars, roomier passenger cars, more luxurious appointments, more of the things that make railroad travel enjoyable even buying your ticket and making a reservation. Here at Pennsylvania Station, New York, you will find a device we all have wished for, a device to speed our reservations. Yes, on the Broadway Limited to Chicago, leaving next Monday, a bedroom. Your ticket clerk simply dials a number, and a new kind of recording machine tells him instantly what kind of space is still available. Listen. Broadway Limited, Monday. Space still available. Roomettes, one drawing room, bedrooms. Yes, there is a bedroom available. Let's see how fast this reservation is put through. On this box, the ticket clerk sets certain dials. And then, presto, a message giving date, destination, and space desired goes out by wire and is received in the reservation department. At the same time, an electric file is set in motion, 
which finds the correct space index drawer. Brings it out automatically for the reservation clerk. The transaction is then confirmed by Telewriter. This new system is now being installed in many of the principal cities along this railroad. Yes, there is always something new coming along in railroading. New services, new conveniences for millions of Americans, old and young, eager to travel, eager to ride on some of these famous trains. The Broadway, the Spirit of St. Louis, the Trailblazer, the Iron City Express, the Pittsburgher and the Clevelander, the Statesman and the Senator, the American, the Jeffersonian, the Liberty Limited, the Congressional, the safe way, the sure to go and sure to get there way, to see America and to see our nation's capital.